Hey everybody, it's Isaac. Let's take a look at how to use a light table. I was so impressed with um, all of your battle stations that you're uploading and I see that a bunch of you are getting light tables, so that's really great. So, um, so basically, and I hope you can see this, maybe I will, oh that's a pretty good frame. Um, so basically you can see that I'm working on this comic and um, it's about, um, it's actually a comic about the book of Daniel, um, which is really a weird book if you read it. It has all these gods and monsters and all of these, um, all of these weird encounters, uh, people metamorphosing into beasts and um, it's something that I've always loved, and I think it's something that's sort of like um, abbreviated in the Bible and skipped over, right? So the advantage of the light table is you can see that um, I have all these concepts. I have these figural concepts, and you know, as drawings, they're 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 just okay. They're not they're not incredible. They don't have a ton of detail. They're really just structural ideas. Um, if you look at this drawing, I put X's all over it um, because really I'm sort of ignoring all the structure and I'm just thinking about what the finished piece is going to be like. Um, these guys up here, you can see that that is like purposefully, you know, there's, there's nothing there. There's just a little indication of a shape because I know that they're not going to be rendered in the final piece, right? Uh, another thing about narrative is you're always uh, working on your writing and if you're integrating writing into a piece, which we'll, we'll be doing this term, you always have an idea of where it's going to go, like something like this, and then you always run out of room or you say more than you want to or something like that. So, um, and the other thing is you can't really write straight um, either on your own. So all of this stuff is kind of solved by the light table. You can just make a huge mess on your page. You can think about your plan. You can um, have lines uh, for your writing and then resolve it later. And, um, and you don't have to draw too hard. I think that this is one of the essential things that people who are just starting art um, get really wrong. Right? They think that what an artist does is they pick up a pencil and then they make something incredible. Um, I, I, I can't finish a drawing in pencil. Um, I, I don't know. I would, I would never be able to do that. Um, but what I use the pencil for is just planning out my work. Um, and then when I put it on the light table... Uh, this is a this is a large Huon. I think this one was some somewhere around 100 bucks, which is incredible for an artistic light table. Um, so I can see right through this page. It's it's totally identical. I can see all my pencil lines, and then I can sort of just have fun with it. You know, then I can then I can say, well, um, I wanted I want to work with blacks, right? I can treat it more like a painting. Um, these are those forms that I had earlier, these little, these little monsters that are described in the book of Daniel and the book of Enoch. Um, and I want to, I want to not show them, just show that they are this host coming in, right? The composition, what I'm thinking about in terms of this drawing is just, it's just this big path in the middle, uh, unifying that and making everything else black, right? It doesn't, doesn't matter that those fingers aren't drawn well because they don't have to be um, because they're just painted in silhouette, right? Like if you have this sense of this monster bearing down on this little dude and this is all light, um, I keep all of these values light and I keep this black. And that's a decision that is totally different um, than, than what I'm doing in pencil, right? So um, having a light table lets me separate out those concepts. And it's really powerful. Um, if you buy the, the Huon one on my list, it's only 20 bucks. It'll take you so far in terms of art. But I think that I think that, that one is only 9 by 12. 
So it would kind of be half of the size of the one that you see here. Um, but this one is definitely, uh, just look for hue on light tables, um, get the, get the biggest one you can, uh, get the biggest one you can afford if you're serious, because it is wonderful to have, um, these, these storyboards that are page size and be able to just light table the whole thing at once. Um, I never work without a light table. 